Hey guys, John Connor here, and I'll be bringing you a 1v1 Zerg vs Zerg on Lost Temple, featuring the little one as the blue Zerg on the bottom left, and the MAGA as the red Zerg on the top right. Good sports, good luck, have fun, good game. I always want to say that in case someone just leaves. I don't know. Some people think it's cocky. If you just say it. Anyways, so the little one is German. He's, he used to play random, then Terran. Then after BlizzCon, I think he's changed to Zerg. This is a BlizzCon game, by the way, so I hope most of you haven't seen it because I make this a little boring. But whatever, you get to hear my cast. And his name is actually because he used to play Supreme Commander with his older brother, who was named The Big One. It's kind of ironic because apparently he was actually shorter than Liquid TLO. Liquid's his clan. And over here we got MTW Domanga. MTW is his clan, stands for Mortal Teamwork. I'm not sure why they had to have three letters. I guess all clans look a little cooler with three letters. So yeah. And he's Ukrainian. He's been playing Zerg since like Rudor time, starting like 2005 ish. 20 years old, I'm guessing. They're both sending out their overlords. See, there's nothing there, just can't go and spy. And now they gotta check this base. Ooh. He sees eyes over here and just kinda dips out. But he sees he's been scouted, so not really sure what they're doing here. Right now we can see a 14 pool coming from the, from the little one. And uh, I think we're gonna be seeing a 15 hatch, but that might not be happening as the little one is harassing Domingo. He's got a giant 500 minerals stocked up, so he just spent it on the spawning pool anyways. Now he's hit his hatchery, so he's going for a fast expand. And extractor coming up here. Extremely normal stuff here from Liquid, and... Oh, I gotta stop calling him Liquid, I just see the first thing I see. And the manga. Turn up that production tab for you guys, a little easier. And we'll see an extractor coming up. A little bit more harassed from this drone. 13 health while a trooper. And just macroing up at the moment. Just chilling. Not sure what we'll be seeing here. Should be seeing a queen soon. Yes, a queen. Um, it's looking like he's gonna tech up since he doesn't seem to be making any big move towards a lower tier push. And spawning pool finally up. We've seen that queen. It's just so vital as it speeds up your larva production, which is an unnoticed resource most of the time in Zerg. So you got your minerals, you got your gas, but you also have larvae. So if you don't have enough larvae, you're kind of screwed. And a couple zerglings for map control. You grab this tower, do a little bit of harass, because I don't see any troops on the map here for Domanga. Army value is looking pretty one-sided at 100 minerals. Kind of ironic. Population count's pretty equal. Actually a little bit of favor Domango, which should help. And nothing too interesting going on right here. I guess you just want to keep these guys. I'm not sure where they're going. Just chill, make sure there's no ninja expansions. Not have to worry about that since there's no Terrans to just grab the island. I hate when that happens in my games. I can never really notice. Send an overload there just to check. Maybe we'll be seeing this overload going down. Yes, we should be seeing it go down. That's kind of shitty at the start. And I'd just like to thank all of you guys for subscribing. I have about 50 subscribers. That's pretty amazing, I find. And I've got that one video with got 50,000 views. I think it's because I didn't really know this at the time, but apparently it was made with some computer algorithm, so that's why. And Banelinks, wow, I didn't even notice that. Let's see Banelinks, and they're running in. You want to get these little guys right in the worker line. One Banelink can take out a giant amount of Zerglings. We're just getting picked off here, though. If we go to the Lost tab, we can see 100 users. That's about like four Zerglings. Oh, that was a waste. Because these guys cost 75 minerals each, or minerals and gas combined each. 75 resources, whereas the Zerglings on 25. So if you send them out one at a time, you can just waste, whittle off Banelink Force. So you have to have really good micro to make sure you don't have that happen to you. And I'm not really sure what's going to happen right here. You guys are trying to get a run by going on. Not going to happen. Going for workers, I guess. And he gets a nice explosion. Because Banelinks, their splash damage, if you guys didn't know this, does not get lower as you go further away. It has a little splash radius where it does full damage within that area. And normal hotkeys over here. You know, it always cracks me up when you see people with hotkeys fully, they just re-hockey, so I guess we can just smack the keyboard anywhere and get the right hockey. 
We've seen creep, you want, you'll want to link your bases. You can see it's being linked from the bottom here because he's got both queens at the bottom base to block off the ramp because he didn't want these zerglings running by. And I should really turn off my Facebook when I do these casts. And we can see a layer here attacking up. We should be seeing the second gas going up soon because if you're going for anything else, maybe hydras, you don't need it that much, or just getting roach upgrades. But we should be seeing another gas. Or not, I guess. Double evolution chamber. Seen this? We'll be seeing probably a Roach Hydra army, as they do use projectile weapons. Uh, I don't think either is up yet. Production tab. We should go back to that. No, not up yet. So he's preparing for something else a little later. And that's hard to scout that, I guess. And the other gas is up. This base is up in mining. He did that while he was attacking. These guys are just almost not even Koreans. They're just crazy Germans and Ukrainians. Really confused in map control. When I play, I don't really have this. And Domega's moving his overlords back. I'm not sure if he's got any air attacking units yet. Do we see. What is this? Infestation pit. We'll be seeing infestors, ladies and gentlemen, today. Yes, we will. We should be seeing Burrow, too. And he's got a couple spine crawlers just to block off. Oh, one scout getting in here. And is he gonna die? Oh, okay, good. I thought he was gonna run by and get a full view. Kinda scared me for a second. Some good queen play right here. Several queens for the manga. Four queens in total. And this overseer just going around. And will it be taken out? I think it's gonna be sneaking, sneaking around. Oh! 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 Let's make it! We got this. I can't even see when it's gonna be so close to the edge of the map. And that uh, overseer gets away with 2 HP, little gentlemen. 2 HP! 2! That's one badass overseer. And pathogen grants. It just helps it so that when you spawn your infestors, you don't have to wait as long. Gets an extra 25 energy. And time is money. So I guess you're doing a good investment. Money, time, whatever. Yeah, I got lost on that one, sidetracked. It would be interesting to see who grabs this expansion, because when it's north versus south, or I don't all these maps are in angles, so it's kind of hard to tell. When it's this side versus this side, you'll always see people go for the gold expansion after they're natural, but I'm not really sure where they're going to expand next. Are they just going to grab up here? It'll be interesting to see if they even do expand again, or if the game ends early. I've been casting a lot of short games lately. I gotta find some good epic long ones. They're not that easy to find. And creep tumor is going out. Always want to do that with hydras because they're just so slow off creep. Nice queen spit right there. And wow, there's just one giant blob of a red right here. Reminds me of Cad Mouse. Remember back in the good old days of Rudor? You just take a command center over top of the buildings and no one will see anything. It's like an over, over, overlord veil. And Roach warring up. Are we going to be seeing hydras? Oh yeah, Groove Spine, I'm not quite sure, oh there we go, it's under the Overlords. Awkward, weird placement I find, right in the front, it gives away your attack a bit, maybe it helps wall off, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, four queens at the door and one at the front, they're really good fighters, and we have an expansion going up here, but he will see this, and he could use Contaminate a couple times, and just postpone production here for a little while. I'm not sure if he's going to be expanding, he has his Infestors, and does he have Burrow yet? He does not a burrow. That is strange. I'm guessing he's going to be using it more for different purposes. And he'll both players use an aggressive use of spine crawlers. Yes. Lots of circlings, lots of infectors, and right here lots of hydro roach. It's a full on creep carpet, so it's kind of dangerous in that regard. And just slowly moving up the spine crawlers. You don't want to move too many of them because then you can just get destroyed if someone attacks you. You just want to space them out equally so they'll attack and not kill yourself. Anyways, I'm just getting a little sidetracked right here. Nidus Canal, or Nidus Network in this game, coming up. He should be able to spot out with the Overseer and just get some guys in here. We sneaky. Does there an Overseer out yet for Demaga? No, I don't think so. So he could if he got Boros sneak by. I'm not sure what's going on. He has used fungal growth on these guys, which prevents them from moving and hurts them. He can kill Hydra with that easily if he just keeps that up, but he'll get these roaches if he just continues fungal growthing. 
It's also a very good tactic to use against Mutalis, as they will be destroyed if good four fungal growths or three, I'm not sure. But it's a real pain in the butt, trust me. Oh, full on attack of it. Huge attack. Seems the infested Terrans coming out, not even surviving. There's tons of fungal growth all across the map. This is insane. Insane. My game volume is a little high, so I can't even hear myself talk. I guess I'm screaming, I'm not really sure. Let's see this. It's Roach City right here. Roachopolis. The map middle off of this is Roachopolis. And falling back, I feel like I'm playing a game of Helm Steep. More spine crawlers coming out. This may be the final push for the mega. Another fungal growth. I'm not sure if his army will survive. Oh, GG for the one. That was a good game. And I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. Oh, I didn't even see that. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Well, anyways. So, I just want to thank you, all you guys who subscribe for subscribing and for making my tutorial video a big hit. If you guys have any strategies you want to hear me like give you a tutorial on, just send me an inbox. Tell me the tutorial, not the tutorial, the strategy. Wow, you gotta get better at this public speaking thing. Or, not really public since I'm alone right now, but whatever. Maybe doing some dual cast if a uh, chance arises. What? So, um, I've been rambling on long enough, and I'm signing out. Peace.